What's up guys? This is Noel Hotdiet7 Morales RCT. Uh, I'm here to basically update you guys on current events, on the happenings and stuff of what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Um, I was going to uh, upload, make an upload, a uh, video with uh, Death Smiles game. Unfortunately, uh, as for the current time, as of right now, I'm feeling kind of sick. I'm kind of stuffy. I'm going to ask for, uh, you know, apologize in advance because if you can't hear me that well, it's because I'm all stuffed up. I think I got the flu. Um, so that being said, today what I'm going to have is a video basically updating you guys um, and the first part of this uh, address of uh, State of Affairs is the fact that uh, RCT hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, there is no plan to go away anytime soon. For the time being, uh, I got caught a little bit in a hiatus, if you will, because as as all of you guys know, uh, I, I left uh, Puerto Rico, which was the place where I was living at in the beginning. Uh, there, Afroso and I uh, came together with the whole RCT concept of stream games, uh, upload videos and stuff like that. Now, I left Puerto Rico around June 17th and I hit up Seattle, for those who don't know, I hit up Seattle, I went to Redmond and to some other places, uh, Kent in, uh, in Washington State, uh, looking for a job, looking for a place to start over. Uh, things went very good the first week and a half, two weeks, as I was making progress with my applications and stuff like that, going to interviews and stuff like that. However, I did not plan, I wasn't expecting the high cost of life of real estate in uh, Seattle uh, to diminish my resources so quickly. Now, that being said, I had either, I mean, going back to Puerto Rico wasn't an option. It was set that way since the beginning before I even headed out. So, plan B basically was coming here to Pennsylvania, where my daughter and my son-in-law and my granddaughter live. At least we are at very close distance, so that was a, a plus. I came here, I settled, and I'm still staying here at the Hotel Edison in uh, Sunbury, Pennsylvania. But everything has gone so far perfectly. I mean, I, I cannot complain. I started working. I already set up my bank account, I already got things in motion, the basic necessities, of course. Unfortunately, as you guys know, without money, you can't do anything. So I had to focus or put all my focus on getting a job, getting some money, getting some income rolling so I can meet the, the demands of my responsibilities with my kid, um, among other things. And of course, everything is moving along at a very, very good pace. Now, uh, in terms of uh, job, it's working perfectly. I'm doing very good. It was tough in the beginning because I came away from basically sitting and being like, kind of like, uh, not too active, so to speak, you know, working the streams and stuff like that. I wasn't putting a lot of exercise. So of course, going into a job that demands physically it's kind of, it was really straining the first few days, but thank God I overcame that and now I'm really good. Um, let me see what else. I, I want to take the opportunity also to thank those guys out there that still, even when the RCT streams came to a halt because of the trip, they've been constantly, you know, checking up how I'm doing and stuff like that. Everybody from, oh my God, Neil Turbo Maniac, Anthony F. Dorso, um, Aaron Classic Gamer, who, you know, those two guys, Anthony and Aaron, they're like, they're, we're the Triforce, you know, all together, we're the Triforce, and I really miss those guys. Glowing Rice, uh, Shoot 'em Up fan, very good friend, uh, Paul Winchester, uh, Alex Michigan, so many of you guys that have given me so much support, both on Twitter and on the streams, and of course, I feel kind of bad that I haven't been able to provide with uh, with the streams. That being said, however, since things are set in motion and I already have an established base over here in Sunbury, which I don't plan to move from here for the time being, as soon as next month, 
I think September is going to be a big month for a lot of things. First of all, as you guys know, I'm a Nintendo fan, not a fanboy, a Nintendo fan, meaning that I respect and admire Nintendo as a company for so many years. And basically, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to leave anything inside, I'm going to come out and say it. Nintendo is the main reason I'm still into gaming. I mean, PC gaming and Nintendo gaming on the console front, those are the two factors that ha that keep me going, even at my age, which a lot of people, you know, tend to say, oh, why are you into gaming? You know, you have this amount of age or whatever. You're supposed to be thinking or doing something. I don't, I don't give a crap about that. I love gaming. I will keep pursuing gaming because it's a passion of mine. But the main reason I'm still going and I haven't been jaded by all of the crap coming out is because of Nintendo. Because there's always an underlying hope that they're going to come with something innovative, something really fun. And yeah, I mean, not, not that I take away anything from Sony or Microsoft, because even though I don't have the same admiration to them as, as a company, as I do for Nintendo, I admire the quality and the stuff that they put out. Maybe not as original, my opinion only, but I understand the quality of its products. So overall, I love everything, everything that has to do with gaming, but Nintendo always keep, keeps me going even when the, the going gets tough. Now that being said, in September, we should expect at least some full news, the reveal of the Nintendo NX, so I'm going to be all over that, hopefully. Um, but realistically, and in short term, I will be pursuing or shopping around for internet connections and services so I can go back to doing at least, at the very least, one or two streams per week. That's the most I can do given the very busy schedule of my job. And given that I work the graveyard shift, it kind of limits me in what I can do during the nighttime. So hopefully guys, very, very soon, I'll be able to set that up again go back into my Twitch account, my Hitbox account, and bring something really good to the table. Uh, hopefully soon, once I get my service going, because I do have internet service here where I'm saying that, but it's a shared kind of a situation where basically we don't have that much of speed, and I need something really good, really quick, really fast, so I can manage um, doing video chats and doing the streaming and the gaming and being able to communicate with Afro Soul, which is still in Puerto Rico, I miss her a bunch. I also miss my friends, I, I can't stress this enough. Uh, Bad Luck, um, Benito Tanka, you guys know who he is. Uh, Andy, uh, Andy, my, my, my Padawan in training. All of those guys have been very, very supportive and we still have the ongoing convo on Facebook. So stay tuned there for more news and updates. And of course, that being said, you know, everything is going well. Uh, hopefully, in the upcoming future, short term, I'll be able to go back into action. RCT is going to come in full force. And yeah, I hope to see you guys there. I hope that you, you guys haven't gone away. I still don't know what I'm going to bring, you know, as my first dreams. Because there's a lot of things that have been happening since I kind of had to put, shut down the streaming. But yeah, I'll pick up and I'll get up to speed in no time, believe me. Um, little by little also, I gotta, I gotta point out that <clears throat> one of the reasons why it's taking a little bit more is because most of my gear is still in Puerto Rico, it's in, in the storage space, so uh, Afro Soul is gonna be, little by little, is gonna be starting to send me some of that stuff, so I can start hooking up where I'm saying that, like the microphone, because, you know, I'm, I'm very... I'm a stickler with uh, sound quality and stuff, and I know that this this uh, microphone is kind of sucky. So that hopefully is going to go away soon. So uh, in other in other things that I need to mention as well, uh, I'm still in contact almost constantly. I mean, Aaron has been more than a pal; he's been a brother, uh, just like Anthony and most of the other guys. But we've been in communication constantly and hopefully we can sit down pretty soon once I got my stuff set up and bring the Reddit Outlaws back. I mean I'm dying to do another one. I know that we started out kind of slow and things picked up with the 16-bit wars but kind of fell away to the wayside 
because he, of course, he was going through some changes in his life with his jobs and stuff like that, and it was really stressing on, on his part. And I had my own issues, you know, how that ended up being. I had to leave Puerto Rico and come searching for a new start, a new beginning. So I'm just asking you guys to be very patient. Good things are, come, are gonna come soon. Just stay tuned and hopefully I'll be back with you. So you guys take care. I love you a lot. And I'll see you guys soon. Rock on.